Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. Today I want to update my opinion about many uh, tanks for uh, for bonds, right? Um, I want to go through every and each of them to show you the quirks and features of the tanks, right? To say which tanks are good, which tanks are not good, at least in my humble opinion. Uh, and in the same time, there is new tanks as well. We're gaming uh, refilled the store, if we can say so. Uh, we are like a kid so, uh, waiting for candies and we got new ones. 113 Bo, Lorraine, and uh, T23 Echo 3. We are going to talk about those vehicles very, very soon. But let's start our journey from the M60 and move uh, move down. Right? We, uh, we will cover each and every tank. And in the same time, we're gaming wants uh, for you to pay bonds for. Uh, 3D skins as well nowadays. We are going to talk about this as well. But now let's teleport straight into the vehicles. And first tank is M60. M60 all and all, in my humble opinion, is not a bad tank. Uh, but I would present this tank as a weaker Leopard. In fact, I think M60 is actually better than a Patton. Thanks for Mouse Acrobat, because Mouse Acrobat was beating me and saying, Skill, you need to play with M60 to figure out how the tank is looking like nowadays. I think you are wrong. And he was correct. Um, I had a memory of the M60 being absolute paper and everyone could penetrate you in the face. Um, some time ago, where gaming did the change for this vehicle, and they buffed the uh, turret of this vehicle, although there is still humongous cupola. So, I felt like this tank is more accurate than the Patton, and it's faster than the Patton, and even though it has just tiny touch worse um, armor, they are pretty similar, and uh, in fact, M60 is better than Patton. This is how I felt, um, and uh, this is what I want to say, okay? So... Is it worth the bonds in my humble opinion? It is up to you, but I think Leo can do everything as this time can uh, and probably better. Well, apart farming super heavies because uh, this vehicle has 350 uh, penetration with a heat, which is absolutely amazing in my humble opinion. Moving on next, we have 1 to 1B. 1 to 1B is uh, old Clan Wars River tank. Uh, this tank got buffed back in 2021 or 2022. And overall tank is very, very good. I would say it's better than M60. And in fact, probably I would say it is best uh, uh, tank you can take from the Bond store if you like tier um, tens overall. Uh, same goes for this vehicle as for a Patton. Um, or I suppose to say M60. As average penetration values are extremely good of this vehicle and gun handling is also all right. Um, not everything is that great because frontally you have fuel tanks and you can be lit on fire so that can be annoying. But with a bit of modified configuration you can fix absolutely everything and uh, you will be kind of protected from this if you are wondering yes. Uh, but this is the equipment which I am talking about. Anyways, uh, moving on next, Fava, we have a first tank where I'm saying avoid, do not buy it, it's not worth it. In fact, I can say the same thing for Fosh 155 and for 113. Now, speaking about those three vehicles, Fava, old platform, uh, good gun. By saying old platform, I think this tank is just simply outdated. And even Dez said, you know what? I do not love you anymore. I have my new favorite, Fava. <laughs> this is what Dez said as well, right? So in this kind of situation, all we need to do, we need to remove the Dez camo. And this vehicle is going to be uh, forever uh, forgotten in the garage without camo and with a sad smile on his face. Now, obviously, jokes aside, uh, but this tank is just outdated, bad platform, you cannot side scrap, uh, it is extremely hard to use the armor overall, people can penetrate you in the face, although you have a gun so you can defend yourself. But other than that, the tank is kind of useless. You want better tank than this, Super Conqueror is the way to go, and you do not need to pay bonds for it. Uh, 113 Bob, kind of... Uh, uh, 
it is not a bad tank, uh, but it's not meta tank, at least in my humble opinion. The positive thing of this tank is uh, uh, 340 heat penetration, right? It is hip hip hooray, absolutely amazing. Negative thing is you can buy 113 uh, pretty much for credits. Why would you spear bonds for a tank which you can buy for credit? Skill how to do this. First of all, you are going to the tech tree, right? You are figuring out do you have any tank up to the tier 10 speaking about the Chinese vehicles. And if it happens to be you have a tank up uh, to the tier 10, then you can simply check out the collector's vehicles and in the collector vehicles you will find 113. You don't need to grind for it, you need to buy it for 6 million credits. Okay, 6 million 100 uh, thousand credits not worth the effort to uh, waste the bonds for it. This is my honest opinion. And let's get real. This skin, I mean, um, it looks like a bloody bad experiment in a way. It is far away from being sexy. It's far away from being sweet. For me, it just looks bad, you know. Uh, that's all I can say. But, you know... The taste is very, very subjective. Someone will find it looking amazing. Someone will find it looking kaku like me. Force 155 is not worth it, in my opinion, because it's not competitive tank. Can it be fun? Yes, it can be fun. Uh, but there is a reason why people are calling this vehicle a 750 DPM tank. You are reloading for 45 seconds, and after that, you are crying in the corner whenever you are missing two out of three shells, and you have 750 damage dealt. The tank can be fun, obviously, if you are finding a mouse and you are clipping him out, hip hip hooray. But let's get real, most of the cases are not going to look like this. The platform itself is follow, far away from being ideal and it is just a bit... A bit outdated tank in a way. Although uh, this tank was extremely competitive back in 2013 or 2014 when it had 850 alpha damage. It used to be beast, fellas. But those times are long time gone. Uh, we are done with a tier 10 so quickly. Uh, two tanks, in my opinion, are worth it. Rest of the tanks are not worth it. Save your bonds. Uh, and still it is debatable. Do you really need them? Moving on next, we have three light tanks um, for sale from the tier 8s. We have a shitluck, we have a black dog, and we have a Chinese dog. Uh, so, overall, most of the light tanks have the same playstyle, in my humble opinion. Yes, you can spot with all of them, and yes, you can do damage with most of them. Um, there is a couple of exceptions, as an example, ELC, when it's very, very hard to do damage and you uh, are prioritizing to spot. Uh, so, if I can say the categories of uh, those vehicles, in my opinion, Black Dog is for doing damage. Yes, you can spot, but if you will find against the ELC, even ELC even will outspot you. If you will find the ELC even Aka spotting yourself, you can spank him like there is no tomorrow with those beautiful high explosive shells. Same, go same goes for a Shitluck, although Shitluck is a bit more as a hybrid. Um... I feel like I have more fun playing with a black dog because of the gun. Uh, with the shit luck, you can spot a bit better because if I'm not mistaken, camo is better on the uh, shit luck compared to the black dog. But other than that, they are kind of similar and both of them are okay. It is your preferential what you like more. Um, now speaking about the Chinese bulldog, uh, it is pretty much the same tank as you are finding in the Tech 3 um, American branch, which would be M41 Bulldog. If you are a sucker for this tank, if you really like this vehicle, probably you are going to enjoy uh, the Chinese Bulldog as well. Although I need to highlight this, uh, the Chinese Bulldog has way better gun handling than the American version, if I remember this correctly. I played with that tank long time ago, but I have my memory, so correct me if I'm wrong. That's all we have with the light tanks. If I would buy one, and if I would have a choice for me, personal favorite would be uh, Black Dog or Shitluck. I would probably ignore M41D, although this tank has its fan base as well. Now, let's talk about the medium tanks. So we have Schmutz, Guard, Patton, KR, Lorraine, uh, T-34-3, and Esther Y81. Let's talk 
about the things which I recommend to avoid first. So Patton Kier and Esther Wait one is out of the picture. In my humble opinion, those tanks are absolutely outdated. They are bad and there is nothing to do with them. Uh, yes, I like Patton Kier myself. I like this tank, but I do not recommend for people to buy those because liking the tank and uh, being competitive with the tanks those are two different things to say that the least right so when we have this out of the way let's talk about the garden t34 both of them are very similar in a way uh well they are similar because of the alpha damage other than that they are kind of different anyways let's start from the old school t34 slash three uh this tank is okay for uh, lovers who love the tank which has a good alpha damage for its tier. So as an example, this vehicle has 390 alpha damage. With this tank you can play aggressively, I can get closer and BAM for 390 in the face. BAM for 390 in the face. So it's good for trades. What is not so good about this tank is gun handling. I truly did not enjoy the uh, gun handling of this vehicle and I felt like I am suffering with this tank um, although once again I do not think the tank is brutal and the tank is unplayable I think it is all right it's just not as much as my style as I as it might be yours and obviously if you want to see in-depth things uh, index pages waiting for you you can check the things out right um, then we have guard I found guard as a hidden gem lately I played with a guard uh, for mark of excellence on my other account and I loved it with all my heart. Uh, the gun handling treated me very, very good for two or three days in a row. Uh, and overall, it was enjoyable experience to play with this tank. What is good? Gun handling is fine of this vehicle. What is not so good? DPM is kind of stinker. It's far away from being ideal. Um, but once again, you can snipe from the back and you can punish enemies. And sometimes it is more than enough. Uh, so I would recommend to play with a guard kind of medium range, medium to longer range, and just enjoy yourself while enemies are making one or another stupidity um, while being aggressive, you know? That's all you want to see with this tank. Um, moving on next, we have... Um, Schmutz. In my opinion, Schmutz is also okay. It's average tank. I don't, I can tell you one thing. It's better than Paton Kier and better than Esterva because it has some high explosive ammunition. Uh, but other than that, this tank is pretty much created for sniping in a way, right? Yes, if you are an experienced player, you can play frontline. You can, uh, by saying frontline, I mean you can go in front, right? You can try to use your gun depression, but truth to be told, you can absolutely no armor whatsoever and the gun handling is uh, is okay but it's far away from being the best gun handling out there it's just outdated tank in my opinion but not as outdated as Patton Kier and the Starva 81 moving on next we have a new addition which is Lorraine Fortity it happened to be I lately played with this tank for 100% of the mark of excellence and with all honesty I did not really enjoy this tank uh, that much. I think it used to be meta tank uh, but I think it is that time is gone. Nowadays we have extremely many auto loaders in the game and in the same time we have intuition skill. What that means, what intuition means? Well, that means if Schmutz will meet the Lorraine, Lorraine will uh, take instead of 250 damage, it will take 330 or 320 damage because of the lack of armor. Yes, you are nimble. Yes, you can fly around the map. Yes, you can find enemies and you can clip them out. But you can must expect taking one in return. If you are seeing enemy gun is looking at you, um, you are going to take one for the team and you are not going to bounce anything. Plus on top of that, gun handling is very, very mediocre on Lorraine, so you kind of need to spam gold. In other words, it's just hard tank to play with. Uh, that is my highlight of this vehicle. So, uh, talking about the mediums overall, what we covered here, uh, 
what tanks I would recommend to buy or consider buying would be uh, probably guard if you are sucker for a higher uh, alpha damage uh, T-34-3 uh, same goes for their tank if you like to play a bit more aggressive and maybe Lorraine with a question mark uh, because the tank can work but you need to be extremely skilled in the game um, at least in my opinion to make it work yes the tank has potential but execution of this vehicle is very very hard I struggled quite a lot with this vehicle Okay, let's go with the heavy tanks, and we have plenty of them. So, let's first of all start... Uh, um Let's first of all start with the tanks which I think is just not worth it and which I think we need to avoid. After that we will go for a decent tanks and after that we will say, uh, hip hip hooray, this tank is worth to buy, okay? So first things first, IS-5. In my opinion, IS-5 is absolutely a pile of caco. I think it is not worth it. I think this tank is outdated from the day one when it came into the game. And the main reason is gun. Gun is made in China. Um, um, and the platform itself is not that great either. Um, so avoid it. Do not buy it. You will thank me later on whenever you will uh, see the IS-5 aiming at you from the enemy team and missing you. So you will say thanks for me. And after that we have Alpine Tiger. Same goes for this vehicle. Um, only one good thing about this tank is the camo. I mean look at the camo. Such a beautiful camo. This is one of the most impressive uh, skins in the game in my opinion. I I mean look at those details look at those details this tank in a way started this type of uh, uh, copy paste uh, uh, copy paste uh, vehicles you know back in the day when our gaming was copy pasting the tank they were bothering to um, show uh, some kind of art you know sneaking tiger in the grass I mean look how this tank is looking like Right? Absolutely glorious. And nowadays where gaming noticed, you know what? Uh, Igor, we don't need to try anymore. Uh, it's okay. 113 over there and 113 Beijing Opera. It looks like experiment went wrong in the kindergarten. Anyways, it's not about that. I just want to uh, highlight the things. Uh, there was a moment when where gaming was trying to make the tanks actually beautiful when they are copy pasting them nowadays those days are gone right so avoid the alpine tiger it's the same was the 111 it's just simply not really worth it now moving else let's go with the average tanks in my opinion right uh liberty t20 um t26 echo 1p uh, let's start with those. Those tanks used to be meta a long time ago, but that time is gun. Liberty has extremely inaccurate gun, and with a Patriot it's hard to play because you need to play hold down in order to have some sorts of armor. Between those two, I choose the Patriot, but overall Liberty can work for a newer player. But keep this in mind, whenever you are going to meet the tier 8 buzzer, if you have a tank, it doesn't matter which tank you are playing, more likely you are going to take one for the team, right? It is just important thing to highlight. So both of the tanks are kind of average. If you want to see um, them in action, remember check out index page and you will find uh, you will find this quite easily. Um, after that, let's talk with. Uh, Kava five and IS six. Now IS six is. Uh, Typical heavy tank which we have in the game for literally 11 years. Uh, it used to be absolutely amazing. It still is whenever you are meeting tier 6s. Uh, it is still completely fine tank. I would call it average. I don't think the tank is unplayable. I don't think the tank is uh, um, as bad as uh, uh, IS-5 or Alpine Tiger. But it's just kind of... Eh. Eh. You know, it's... This vehicle is like situation when you are going to the store and you are thinking, you are seeing the ice cream and you are thinking, do I want ice cream? But it's minus 50 outside, so I will freeze my ass and my tongue. This is how the things are looking like. You do not need it. Uh, you just don't need it. You just don't. Uh, cover 5 and cover 4, Kreslevsky. Cover 5, in my opinion, is memester tank in a way yes it can be fun going down the hill 
and ram someone. It can be fun. But other than that, if we are speaking about the competitive gameplay, um, if you are going to meet the person who knows what he is doing in the game, I can tell you one thing, your boobas will be touched. Okay, you cannot avoid it. You cannot do absolutely anything about it. And obviously there is people who can say, but, 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 but you can reverse side scrap with this vehicle. You can, but uh, you will get penetrated by the good players. I can promise you that. Obviously RNG means a lot, but in the same time, it's just meme tank for me. Um, some people will call it a good meme. Some people will call it a bad meme. Although I need to give a credit for this tank that you can bounce some shots against the tier sixes you see people might aim for your booba and if you are going to move uh, uh if you are going to wiggle like this to the left to the right to the left to the right uh, there is a chance people uh, uh, will miss uh, some of their shots and in the same time you can side scrap and maybe even over side scrap against the lower tiers so you can potentially complete uh, um blocking missions when you have a good matchmaking but that's all uh, that's about it that's only credit i can give uh, for it so so, uh, ramming ability, fun, and blocking missions can be done with a bit of the luck. Cover for Kreslevsky. Mm. Cover for Kreslevsky is beautiful, to be fair with you. I think this is very underrated tank, and I really want to show you one thing. Fellas, this tank has... Um, Casual 289 millimeters of penetration with a gold ammunition and it has extremely fast shell velocity as well. I think this tank is over. Uh, I think this tank is underrated. That's what I want to believe. And uh, overall, I think it is pretty beautiful vehicle. You have a bit of the armor. Obviously, you don't want to see the tier tens, but if you will, then you can have relatively safe defense parameter. Uh, other than that, I think you are booming. Um, Last but not least, Chrysler GF, a uh, tank pretty much which can destroy lower tiers without problems whatsoever, especially whenever you are side scrapping on the corner or alternatively whenever you are meeting the lower tier tank in front. In order to penetrate its lower plate, if I'm not mistaken, you, you need like 200 millimeters of penetration frontally. So with this vehicle, you can be a bit nuts and you can try to face hug the enemies, right? You can side scrap in other, in other words this tank can work uh, although um, the biggest uh, downside of this vehicle is uh, standard ammunition you are going to fight against the heaviest anyways 200 millimeters of um, penetration is not that great especially when you are meeting tier 9 tier 10 so you will need to have plenty of the gold ammunition with this vehicle unfortunately but it is the case but other than that if you like side scrapping tanks uh, but this can be a relatively good option for you so once again going through the heavy tanks um IS-6, do not buy it. Cover 5, questionable. IS-5, do not buy it. Cover 4, Kreslevsky, uh, questionable. Uh, probably yes, if you like, uh, if you if you want to have a heavy tank. Chrysler, questionable. Patriot, questionable. Liberty, questionable. Alpine Tiger, hell no. So, yeah. Moving on, next tank, Destroyer, Trash 103, or um, how Scorpiani would say, Treasure 103. It is better tank than it looks. I was judging this vehicle a lot, but uh, uh, it has... Uh First of all, it has quite an interesting structure. It has two boobas in front, right? Which will uh, make you to take one for the team or which will cover your turret ring or hole. But to be fair with you, it doesn't really matter. The armor of this vehicle is far away from being uh, the greatest. The best thing about this tank is gun. Gun is actually fine. Uh, you are kind of agile, believe me or not, you can play uh, hold down with this vehicle until people are loading gold. When people are loading gold, you're... Ay, 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 ay. And then, you know, it is not so great. But overall, it is a hybrid between the heavy and tank destroyer. It is actually alright. If you want to get in depth with one or another tank, remember, fellas, index page is there for you, so you will see uh, tanks in action there, right? So, would I recommend to buy Trash 103? I would. It is actually all right, tank. It is not bad. Penetration is good. You can plenty make plenty of credits, so that is a great stuff. T23 Echo 3. Um, quite rear tank. Well, it used to be rear until it is released in this store. Overall, it is like stock 
T20. I haven't had a video with this tank in a while, so on Monday you are going to get one in the extra channel. Um, and I will talk more in depth about this tank. This vehicle is quite funny sucker to be fair with you. It's in a way hybrid. Um, it is like E25 without camo but with a turret. It is truly a fun vehicle to play with and we will go in depth um, in the extra channel with this tank. Right? Other than that, uh, if I remember this correctly, the penetration of the standard ammunition is mech. Uh, 150 is not ideal so you need to shoot quite a bit of the gold but you won't even feel... Uh, okay. It will feel like you are shooting a lot in the game, but uh, you do not have that much damage. I know it sounds weird, but this is how it looks like and this is how it feels like with this tank. Plus, on top of that, uh, gold ammunition is pretty expensive of this vehicle. Would I recommend to buy it? Probably not. Um, I think it is average tank in the best case scenario. Moving on next, IS-2. IS-2S. To be fair with you, uh, this is a typical IS-2 tank honestly this is the, one of the variants of the is2 and there is plenty of those if you would pay attention over there you would notice what is do you want do you want is do you want is is2 do you want is2m or do you want is2 uh, um, shielded for me honestly not much what I can say about this. I just simply, I overall, I would avoid buying the tanks. Speaking about the premium tanks below tier 8 unless they are overpowered, right? Uh, that's honest truth. And this tank is pretty much average. So there is nothing to say. If you play the S, you know how this vehicle is looking like. Um, Panzer 4S. A uh, quite outdated tank in my opinion. Uh, extremely slow if I remember this tank correctly. Even though you have 48 kilometers per hour speed on the paper. I if Once again, if I remember this correctly, it is slow. And I will make sure to play soon with this vehicle on the extra channel. Just to uh, share my opinions about it in depth. Other than that, I, from what I remember, it is average vehicle. Nothing to talk about it. I would never ever buy it. Um, same goes for Panzer Hydrostat, same goes for T-34, uh, none of those vehicles are worth it and they are just simply not worth attention. Tiger 131 and M-10 RBFM, um, those tanks are okay, uh, they might be... Uh, they might be worth it if you are lower tier lover. If all you do is you play lower tiers and if you like Wolverine um, American tier 5 tank destroyer, this tank might be for you. If you do not like it, then don't even bother with this vehicle. Uh, same goes for Tiger 131. If uh, the Tiger is your favorite tank in the game and you want to have something similar in the tier 6, yeah, it can be worth it, but once again, why would you play with those when you can? Why would you play with this when you can play with the original Tiger? With M10, I think it's better version of the Wolverine, honestly. So this tank is worth to think about it for a lower tier lovers. That's about it. Uh, plenty of the tanks to talk about. I'm sorry, I tried to be as quick as possible, but uh, it took a bit of time, right? Now speaking about the Camos, well, it's up to you. Uh, yeah, this is my review. It's up to you. Uh, do you want to spend 3,000 um, 3, credits for, uh, or 3,000 bonds, I suppose to say, for a, a camo like this, you tell me. I would recommend to keep the bonds and spend them either for the tanks or either for equipment setup or whatever else, or just save them. They are not burning your pockets. It's better to have them than not to have them. So... This is my uh, this is my take on uh, uh, what Wargaming is selling for them. Obviously, if you like Camos and you don't care about the premium tanks or you don't care about the bond equipment, sure thing, you can find all sorts of uh, uh, gems over there and you can look how a beautiful one or another tank is looking like with a Camo like this, right? Anyways, thank you very much for watching, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I tried to go through every single tank as quick as possible, and this video was quite a long one. Um, but I needed to do this just to update my opinions and to give you as fresh information as I physically and possibly can. Thank you very much for watching, and see you very, very soon. Skills out for today. Peace.